Hey, everyone. Thanks for being patient. I guess we're only a few minutes late. Uh, we want to say thank you first to everyone's watching us live on Twitch and or on StreamYard right now. Uh, we appreciate your guys' support, and we appreciate those patrons especially who uh, give us that financial support. We really appreciate that. So those who are watching this on our Patreon, especially after we go live, thank you mm -hmm. so much. Uh, the reason why it's important to be a Patreon because you're not going to make every live stream. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. And there might be some live streams that might be behind a Patreon wall, like maybe mid-season, the season finales. Hmm. Mm. They might be behind the paywall only. So just keep mm -hmm. that in mind. Uh, yeah. So welcome, everyone, to yeah, Supernatural Bugs, Season 1, Episode 8, Nathan. So Bugs, what do you think this bugs. one's about? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Could be so many things. My my guess is though it's going to be kind of the the creepy crawlies. It's going to be the creepy crawly episode that like gross okay. you out a little bit. Like there'll be some gross scenes. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I I think so. But under the skin, bugs under the skin. Mm. Like you'll see like uh yeah you're, you're, you're yeah like, yeah like I for okay. sure there's going to be a maggoty body. I'm I'm guessing we're going to see a oh me oh, maggot crawling yeah. out of a yeah yeah it's got to be maggoty okay. body. Um, so what's your death count? Ooh, my guess is in this one, we're going to hit, we're going to hit. No, no, I'm just going to go with one. Just one straight one? up. One. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Four. Ooh. Four. <laughs> Four. Okay. <laughs> Ryan's uh, okay. optimistic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I sure hope there's some four dead bodies. <laughs> So, yeah, this will be another creature feature of the week. Again, when I say that, I don't know why it comes across as I'm complaining or it's a criticism. Yeah. I understand this is this is the first season. So I think there's going to be a lot of creature of the week episodes in the first couple seasons, especially the first mm -hmm. season, first episodes, because they're trying to grab the new viewers. They don't, they don't want to go heavy into the lore. They don't want to lose people before people even join the show. This is a way to get to see the characters, how they deal with problems of the day, the brothers' mm -hmm. interactions with each other. Uh, but yeah, this could be definitely be a creature feature of the week with a title like Bugs Four Deaths. All right, Nathan. Oh, we should also mention Nathan. What what version are we watching today? It's exciting. Oh, we are now watching the DVD recorded version. So this this is uh, I don't know if it's an upgrade or if it changes much. I did go back and and watch some of the older episodes to see if the music was different, and I almost need to go and watch the the version that we've seen just mm. to compare and see if 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 they are different or not um yeah give me the how about this one uh if you know if you know an example of this show where there's definite change in what we saw and what the dvd would have tell me in the comments i'll go back and check and see if that's actually the case because I'm, I'm i'm worried that the dvd that we have is a more updated dvd and maybe they change the music just so you know it's you patrons before you, uh, okay, cool. So check that out, Nathan. So uh, it's we'll to you, Welpers, who give us money each month. It's actually you guys who help pay for these DVDs. So it's actually you guys. So thank you. Uh, that's mm -hmm. we use those funds to purchase this kind of stuff. So yeah. all right. Well, uh, without further ado, uh, Nathan, let's start with episode eight, season one, bugs. Oh, and side note, um, people have mentioned about skipping the previously on. Hmm. It has been clarified because there's some people who are so anti-spoiler. They don't even want us to know if a previous character has coming back for this episode. We don't care about that stuff. I actually like to have the reminder. So to me, that's not a spoiler. If mm -hmm. Johnny from episode three, season two is coming on episode five, season six, I'm fine yeah. with that because they will show you why you remember this guy. So actually, I need that. So I don't yeah. mind that kind of spoiler. Okay. Yeah. If we were binging it, I'd be skipping it. But no. Yeah. Well, we're sort of binging it, but still, I have a bad memory. Oh, nice new homes being built. Oh, so gonna find termites or something? Yeah, or I don't know. Here we go. Maggots yeah, up so, plenty. Yeah, I know. I always right. feel bad for the workers who Today can't afford the houses they're building. Yep, been there before. I like big bugs, and I cannot lie. I cannot lie. You other bugs can't deny when insects walks in with the itty bitty this waist. Place is perfect. <laughs> Oh, oh, he got bit. Except for the mosquitoes. The sinkhole? Oh, an, an, an ant hole of some sort. I broke my ankle. Death number one. Death number one. Right, I'll get a rope. Oh, oh look at a bunch of little guys. Beetles of some sort. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, why is he not like flailing his arms? or? Oh, okay, not the ear. Like uh, Wrath of Khan. Yeah, Star Trek Wrath of Khan. That scene still haunts me to this day. To oh, this God. day. Oh, he did. Oh, he's already just like that. There you go. Oh. The Rock of Ages, Death Leopard. There we go. Yeah. 
Here yes! we go. Yes! Yes! This is awesome. I'm so excited. This is all the great stuff that you and I love. Just playing at the bar. Rock of Ages, yeah. Def Leppard. Oh, I'm totally excited for the DVDs now. We got a new gig or what? Maybe. Oasis Plains, Oklahoma. All right. Oklahoma. Man, work, work, work. No time to spend my money. You gotta drive the car. There we go. Ah, that's awesome. No wonder they didn't have a good special effects. They were blowing all their money on the songs. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> These are expensive songs, man. It's like it's like twenty five to thirty thousand dollars. I think. I think it's like twenty five thousand dollars for a song. I don't know what it is, but it's a good chunk of change to get some of these songs. It depends on the song and the artist, but the artist mm. will release or the company, music company says, "Yeah, you can play our song, but it's going to cost you X mm. number of dollars. It ain't cheap." Mm. Can you That's tell why us we're why here. this happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, some beetles do eat meat. Now, it's usually dead meat, but... What did you find down there? Ten. That's right. I don't know. Sounds like a stretch to me. Well, we need more information on the area, the neighborhood. I know a good place to start. I love it. There's always parking available right where they need to be. Welcome. Is this the barbecue? Eighteen months ago, I was walking this valley with my survey team. There was nothing here but scrub brush and squirrels. Oh, what's your thoughts? Yeah. What's your what's your? I have a theory that's building. This is just an initial theory, so it's probably gonna be wrong. They they built in this area, and it was like a burial ground, and oh, and like you know what I mean, like like a indigenous burial ground. So there's there's like graves that they're disturbing, and they're because as they disturb these graves, they're they're like responding with you know these bugs that's my guess all right i just got a message from my oh sorry. wait from my 12 year old son apparently he's watching the stream right now i don't know how he's doing it because <laughs> dad i'm watching your stream well jackson if you're watching it say hi and uh <laughs> he'll probably like the show so welcome to the uh welcome oh, to the sweet. show supernatural son yeah yeah welcome right. This really is a great place to live. Well, yeah, yeah, well. Well, let me just say that we accept homeowners of any race, religion, oh, color, <laughs> color, or <laughs> sexual orientation. I'm going to go talk to Larry. Okay, honey? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I didn't want to say what kind of haircut she had, but we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. What? What did I do? What did I do wrong this time? Someone what did I do? My son, he's into insects. The whirlpool types to choose from. Oh, a spider crawling around there? Gross. Is that normal like, to see a tarantula just no that casually? Is not normal, he's just carrying it casually. This is yours? You gonna tell my dad? I am so sorry about my son and his pet. It's no bother. Excuse us. Looks like Dustin Burwash wasn't the first strange death around here. One of Larry's surveyors dropped dead while on the job. Oh, Get this, a severe yeah, allergic yeah. reaction to bee stings. Bee one stings? Bug, we have bugs. beetles and bees. So I thought it'd be like a supernatural insect, like tremors or something like that, but it might be something supernatural controlling natural things. Like yeah. these are yeah, real yeah. beetles, but being controlled by some entity or something, right? I wonder if this is going to yeah, be more of a, a, like, like, making peace with the spirit as as opposed to like excising it you know what i mean like mm. like they've, they've killed off a lot of of these and i think this one might be more of a like like i was saying earlier like it's a an entity that is disturbed by all these you know the expansion i wonder if they'll go there I mean, they may not they might not i just i'm always just hopeful that like you know nature gets to win sometimes larry's kid and bugs for pets he didn't try to scare the realtor with a tarantula. You think he's our Willard? Did you get that? Think he's our Willard? We're talking mm -hmm. about controlling. So Willard was a, a movie. I think it's been made into a remake. It had Crispin Glover in it. And it might have been around the time this, this series was actually out, early 2000s. Um, Willard was about a guy who controlled rats. And people were killed by the rats that he controlled. Oh. Oh, so oh, okay. that's what he's saying. This could, could this be our Willard? Could this be mm -hmm. the guy that's controlling the bugs? or rats mm -hmm. so that that's the little pulp culture nod there I, I i like when they do the pulp culture nods but i wonder how many uh, if everyone knew that so that i wonder if i taught somebody something let me know if you didn't know that and i taught you oh there's my son he's in here now everyone say hi to jackson everyone say hi to jackson he's 12 and he's watching his dad watch supernatural for the first time <laughs> oh she had long hair but she just had it in a tight bun my apologies yeah 
Oh, oh, oh gross. Uh, oh, uh, uh, she handled that way too calmly. <laughs> like I mean <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had okay have you ever had a bug crawl across your face when you're sleeping and you yes. woke up to it yeah i had a spider nathan legit spider uh, i forget uh, i was on i was on it was in the house it wasn't even camping it was in a house i was on the floor it was one of our older mm-hmm. homes and i was sleeping on the floor i can't remember why either company was over or i was in a kid's room or something sleeping on the floor and i was just half asleep and I felt the spider crawl across my face. I'm like, no, no. I and I flip myself on, flip on the light to find that thing, you know, to kill it. Like, oh my gosh, it is the worst. <laughs> it is the worst feeling. Okay. I have a sc- I have a creepier story for you. Please. I woke up one time in a tent and I could feel something was in my ear and I couldn't tell what it was. Oh no. Okay. And I touched Not something either. and I was like, what is that? And somebody else looked in there and they're like, there's a daddy long legs in your ear. Daddy long legs. Ooh. <laughs> I can't I can't handle that stuff. I can't handle the stuff in the ears. <laughs> so we're talking about Wrath of Khan, Star Trek Wrath of Khan. I saw that movie yeah. as a kid in the theater. My parents took me to that so I was I know it's a freaky seven movie. or eight years old. That well, that's yeah. the only really bad part in the whole film, but when the uh, Chekhov and um who was it? Uh, uh Sulu, <laughs> I think they both got the ear things by Khan. Yeah. And it crawled in their ears. I'm like, no, no. It was a, it's a brutal scene. It's probably the most brutal scene in Star Trek history. Is the ear things? I'm I not wish even I could have gone to that movie with you back then. That would have been fun. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> love it. Oh, oh, gross. What? Oh, is it a spider? It is a spider. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> yeah. Now you scream. Okay. I'm no, no. Oh, oh my gosh. She just broke through the glass. Yep. She oh, did. Oh wow. You know what we have to do, right? Yeah, get in that house. See if we got a bug problem. Ew. Mm-hmm. Wait, were those like real? Okay, sorry. I know this is the rest of Yeah, they're but were they plastic. supposed to be real spiders for us, or were they actually plastic spiders for them as well? Oh, okay. No, I think they're I'm real. Confused. I think these are real dead spiders, just like the real dead bugs that he found in the little. Okay, but you get what I'm asking because we could tell they were kind of plastic spiders for the TV show, but I didn't yeah. know if they were plastic for them too. Is what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. They, no, they so people are saying people enough? are saying the. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just yeah. I understand the budget was low. So where's he going? Get more bugs. He's like the bug whisperer. That's what he is. He's like Aquaman of the bugs. <laughs> the Wait, good doctor. You think I had something to do with that? That tarantula was a joke. Anyway, that wouldn't explain the bee attack or the gas company guy. There is something going oh, on here. I don't know what. So he knows. But hmm. something's happening with the insects. <clears throat> Maybe he's I, I think with my the theory. Other... I think my theory is. So if you know about all this, Larry doesn't listen to me. Mostly. Jackson, if you ever call this me Ryan, I'm going to spank stuff. you. Oh, Jackson, you're in trouble, buddy. Look what he just did to me. Oh, oh. Look at the disrespect. Look at that disrespect there. I'm uh, halfway across the world. He knows I can't get him right now. Populations. It's um, <laughs> part of an AP science class. What's that? Oh, gross. Careful. Is a skull? So a bunch of skeletons in an unmarked grave. Yeah, maybe this is a haunting. Pissed off spirits. Yeah. Nope. Finished business. Truth is, when we finally do find Dad, I don't know if he's even gonna want to see me. He used to swing by Stanford whenever he could. Keep an eye on you. Why didn't he tell me any of that? Well, it's a two-way street, dude. You could have picked up the phone. It's true. Mm-hmm. I hate it when uh, it's actually a good point there, Nathan. Let's pause really quickly. Mm-hmm. I've had people in my life, <clears throat> family or friends, I won't say who or what, but sometimes it's like like uh actually we had this one friend uh becky and i uh a couple friend and for whatever reason the husband was mad at us that we never called them as much as he thought we should have mm-hmm. and I'm, so he put it on us that we're not communicating with him as much mm-hmm. as he thought but the calls never came from him either so but we were we were on the hook for the mm-hmm. lack of communication if that mm-hmm. makes sense it's a weird like that's the anyway so dean's right like 
look, our dad was never disappointed in you. You built mm-hmm. up this wall, but you also you also never called. Like you too could have called. So maybe somebody's not calling. Yes, but if you really want to bridge that communication, somebody has to call. You can't just say it wasn't him calling if you're also not calling. You can't you can't you can't say he didn't talk to you if you too didn't talk to him. Like it'd be one thing if you called and he hung up on you. Well, that's a different story. But you get what I'm saying? But. Yeah. What I also want to say. I like that we're yeah, getting please. some story now. We're getting a little bit of yeah, this family is history. For, yeah, some family history. We didn't get anything from the last, it feels like two or three episodes at all about mm-hmm. the story behind. It. And this is actually progressing this a little bit forward. You know, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. My my guess is setting up for an episode coming up here. The time frame and the geography heavily suggests Native American. Hey, hey. Well, hey. tribes or reservations <clears throat> on that land? You know, there's a there's this is the Uchi one. tribe in Sepulpa. I'll tell you what my grandfather told me, what his grandfather told him. The cavalry first raided our village. They murdered, raped, and on the sixth night, the cavalry came one last time. And by the time the sun rose, every man, woman, and child still in the village was dead. As the chief of the village lay dying, he whispered Curse to the land. Habits, kind of cursed yeah. land, maybe. That no or... white man would ever tarnish yeah. his land again. There you go, Nathan. Nature That's your call. Yep. Would rise yep. up. Nature yeah. would rise up. Yeah. And it would bring as many days of misery and death. Relax. To the white man. As the Calvary had brought what? upon his people. So there's good, good old days. insects doing the damage. And on the night of the sixth day, none would survive. Oh. And on the sixth night, yep. that's tonight. If we don't do oh. something, Larry's family will be dead by sunrise. Ooh. Ooh. Gross. Sam, my backyard's crawling with cockroaches. Matt, just listen. You have to get your family out of that house right now. This land is cursed. Wait. The Here. locust swarm. Here it comes. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> bug zapper. We have, <laughs> we, we have a bug zapper in our uh, yard. We put it next to the hot tub. Oh, yeah. They're good. Um, so really quick about the death thing. I don't know why it's so confusing. I apologize if I made it confusing for the death count. Hmm. It has to be humans and they have to be alive at some point during the show. That's all. So if they were, if they were alive 10 episodes ago, that's, and they died 10 episodes later, that will be the count. So they have to be alive at some point during the episode. We see them in human form alive and well, and then we see them die later. Flashbacks don't count so to speak. So if we see something from 200 years ago, well, actually, no, flashbacks do count. So it's, yeah, it's on death screen. So I mean, they're in human form at one point, and then they're dead at another point. And the deaths can happen off screen. So for example, we see Julie alive, attending the bar, you know, clean up the bar. And then the next scene, she's dead because she got murdered by whatever entity, but it was an off screen kill that still counts as death because we saw her alive. So that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess the guy, I, I don't know what profession the gas man is. That's why I'm confused. So the guy that fell in the hole, he dead, he count. He did. Simple as that. Yeah. The guy yeah. that fell in the hole, he dead, he count. That's a perfect example. Yes. Uh, yes. Lady who took the bun <clears throat> out of her hair, whipped her hair around, died in the shower, she dead, she count. Okay. That's mm-hmm. the policy. There we go. All right. Larry, he's about to die. Yeah. We'll never make it. Oh, oh that's house. a lot of bugs. I need towels. Uh, the closet. Right, we gotta lock this place up. Come on, doors, windows, the fireplace, everything, okay? What? Uh, you're gonna need a lot more bug spray than that. Predict. Bug spray? Get, yeah. Blue. Or just sit there and let be eaten by the bugs. Oh, good luck. Jackson, don't play with fire. <laughs> That's gross. I, bees are the like wa- like they're honey bees, sure, but wasps. Ugh. Ugh. I hate wasps. Oh yeah, termites now. I think it's time you guys move. Oh, oh no! So many bugs. What? In the- okay, guys, you gotta get out of here, man. This is a like extended scene. This is the longest scene ever. Get out of here. How do you get out of this mess? Are they getting stung? Oh. I'm glad he didn't yeah, die. The uh, development's mm-hmm. been put on hold, but I'm going to make damn sure no one lives here again. You don't seem too upset about it. Somehow, I really don't care. He got to reunite oh, with his he, son. He, that's right. So Sam's got to visit this boy after they're done, too, or just the girls? <laughs> 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 I 
so what did you think of the episode, Nathan? What's your overall feelings on the episode? My thoughts? I I like that one. I know that it's creepy. I know that it's crawly and all the things. But I, I like that we've got some progress in the storyline. We've got a little bit of um, some of that history of what's happened, you know, uh, between Dean and his dad. Or sorry, between Sam and his dad. Um, yeah, it was... Like certainly not like whoa that's the, the best episode of them all but uh, yeah there's some there's some weird moments there there's like it's not there's some stuff there that's kind of like 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 that whole extended scene of the the bees buzzing around and nobody got stung it's a little convenient I guess <laughs> so I it's funny uh, people were saying in the comments there that the there were real bees used for the filming but they didn't show up on the film so they had to use cgi so they would pop on the film so ironically they had to suffer through real bees they didn't show up so they had to insert (laughs) cgi bees uh and ironically the actors got stung so it's weird like you're saying the actors in real life got stung a few times but then the characters like i don't know why they didn't do more like ah yeah, I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> like some know. sort of damage because once they once they left, they're like, okay, well, no, they're gone. They should have had like little pock marks on their faces. I think that would have made it more <laughs> realistic or more dangerous for the characters. However, somebody um, should do like a saying, reshot oh, of that. Go ahead, Nathan. They should do like a reshot of that of like all those four characters being in that area and have like their little life bars going down. There's a little ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Being... anyway that's so that's my dumb brain yep that was great um so the <laughs> uh i love you nathan you're great um <laughs> all right so my final thoughts of this uh, episode i thought it was a fun episode really i did think it was fun i i apparently it wasn't well reviewed by some of the fans on imdb it has like a six something out of ten which is like mm. way lower than the average supernatural episode it seems to be like seven and a half to nine so it seems mm. to be kind of poorly but i look i had fun i thought it was a great episode uh i'm not gonna rank you know eight or eight episodes into the season into the series i'm not gonna rank it's so hard to rank things sure but I had fun. I watching it with you, and uh, mm. you know, I think when you allow yourself, this is look at the end of the day when you allow yourself just to have fun. I think you can just have fun. Sure, it was kind of silly. Yes, the bugs, the classic, you know, native land. And it's cursed and sure, it's not the, it's not mind blowing writing. This kind of um, trope has been used a million times in TV shows. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. But I, mm-hmm. I, what I really liked about it was, uh, of course, the backstory with the father and with Sam and their relationships. We learned a lot. So ironically, though maybe this creature of the week episode might have been on the weaker side of things for some people, we got to know a lot more about the, the histories of the brothers, which I really appreciate. So this is actually an episode not to miss at the very least. Even if you just skipped out the bug parts, just listen to the brothers' conversation about the past and their history uh, regarding this. Uh, but mm-hmm. I loved it. I love the uh, I I love the the ick and creepy factor and kind of being grossed out by real things. So yeah, I liked it. <laughs> and one last thought. Sure, please. Do we know? The, do we know why the bugs just left? It, it, the curse was over. It was only supposed to be six days. It's like it's like a six day curse, and then it ends, and then no. they, then I think it. Re- oh, sorry. Was it like the sunlight that like? Yeah, it was the ends of the day. It happens okay. at night. It ends on the it, like when the dawn broke, the bugs left. So the curse is over. It's I on see. some sort of it's on some sort of schedule, and mm-hmm. so the gland has to be cleared and not occupied, or else during that time of the year in March, mm-hmm. it happens mm-hmm. again for six days. So it's just you know it, basically you could build houses on in that area, but just go on a week long vacation every every year for yeah. a week and then come back. I'm just gonna pretend that it was the power of love that made them go away. No, oh, you you would be wrong, but care, they did a Care Bear stare, and then it just they dispersed. Sure. All right. Thanks everyone for watching this uh, episode. We appreciate all those who watch this live. <laughs> we appreciate those who watch us on Patreon after we're live, and then we appreciate those who took the time to watch us on YouTube. Again, if you watch this on YouTube, you're seeing the chopped up, blurry, crazy, different images version, the unedited. Yes full version of reactions and all our goofs and everything is on our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching. Yes. Thank you so much. That was a very fun episode. Funny to, to laugh at, funny to make fun of as well, but uh, we'll see you on a future supernatural reaction.